What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are finally going to be assembling our paint booth. Um, the dimensions of this thing is gonna be roughly 15 by 13. Um, that's gonna be a little bit overkill it's for the wide body kit on the Supra over there. But I am gonna be building this oversized so that while I'm doing all this painting, I'm also gonna be repainting my entire Jeep. So I want it to be big enough just to fit the body in there. But what we are gonna be doing with this thing is building it so that there is an exhaust system in here. I wanna have a downdraft built into this booth so that it gives us the cleanest paint job we possibly can. We got all of our wood here. We're gonna be framing this thing, getting everything cut over there on the saw. We're gonna be pre-assembling all of the walls outside and then bringing them in one by one and setting them up. And then once that's done, we'll wrap it and set our fans up so that we have an exhaust system. So let's get started. All right guys, so we got our cut station set up here. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is building our front wall first so that we can work from the front of the garage to the back of the garage. So we're gonna be cutting all these, pre-assembling them out here on the, the driveway and then carrying them in one by one and then setting them up. Normally to build a booth like this, it only costs like maybe 200, 250 bucks. Um, but because wood is so expensive lately, it's going to be a little bit more. I'll give you a grand total of what I spent at the end of the video, just because um, I don't know if I'm going to need any more material yet as we're starting this. So we'll see, but we're going to get this first couple pieces cut, start laying it out, and then start uh, framing it up. All right guys, so as you can see, we just got our first wall framed, went together in about 20 minutes, no big deal. We're gonna move this one to the side and then start the second one. Now the second one's gonna get a little bit more complicated because we're gonna start doing our, our spaces for our fans. So there's gonna be two on the left wall, two on the right wall. This vent, or this booth is gonna have a downdraft system. So we're gonna have several fans on the roof that's gonna blow downward. And we're gonna have a fan on basically every, four, every corner, all four corners so that it sucks the air out in kind of a downward motion, so it creates a downdraft. So we're gonna move this aside to get started on the second one. All right guys, so we just got the second wall in place. Uh, I'm starting to place um, some of the fans in just to make sure everything's fitting and it's not gonna have any issues. I also put one of the lights up. I'm actually gonna do lighting all the way around this booth and a little bit on the ceiling so that we have the best possible view inside here. I don't, I don't want it to be dark so that there's no issue with um, the paint when we're actually spraying. But now that the uh, second wall is up, we will start on the third wall next. And then after that, we will do the last wall that's gonna be in the front, which is actually gonna have a garage door opening on it so that I can pull the entire Jeep in. I'm gonna be painting that after the Supra. I have all new body armor, uh, front fenders, rear fenders, uh, rocker guards, everything's gonna have to get respray it on that right after but it is starting to get a little bit later in the day and bear jackson is actually going on just down the street from us so we're probably gonna wrap it up now go ahead up and then we'll pick this up in the morning
All right guys, so it is the next day here. As you saw in the last uh, clip, we did end up doing this third wall. We ended up busting that out before we went to Barrett Jackson, but I gotta say Barrett Jackson was awesome. We got to walk around that entire venue for two and a half hours or so. We got to see the VIN number one Corvette uh, Z06 C8 go through auction, sold for $3.6 million. That was pretty awesome to see. I actually got a video of that coming out of the auction. Um, and posted that on TikTok. The video blew up. It got over 100,000 views in like the first 24 hours. So that was pretty cool. But now that we're back, we are going to be knocking out this front wall first right here. We're going to frame in our garage door, get all that put together. And then once that's assembled, we are going to be doing the roof and getting all of our fans built into the roof to create that downdraft system. And as you can see, we did start mounting the lights. So we got our lights going up all the way around. We're going to do a couple more on this wall and a couple more on this wall. Uh, Home Depot was out of stock on those, so waiting for those to come in. Once they do, we'll get the rest of those wired up and get the rest of this thing put together. So let's get started on that front wall. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I just got the roof installed and the front wall installed. So now everything is completed as far as framing goes. We got all of our fans mounted. This thing produces so much uh, downdraft, it's going to be crazy. I'm probably going to have to figure out a way to do some sort of wind deflectors at the top. So I'll be working on that over the next couple of days to make sure that's dialed in perfectly. But we also got the rest of the lighting put in. All of this just turns on with the click of a button, as you just see, as you can see there. Um, this is just a little remote for Christmas lights that I had laying around. But now that that's all installed, we will be starting with our plastic sheeting over here. We're gonna be getting this thing wrapped all the way around the booth, and we're gonna pull that as tight as we can against the studs so that we can staple it in place. That way, when the wind's blowing in here, we're not gonna get any of that bubbling and flapping um, with any of the plastic. So stay tuned, we're almost done. I'm gonna show you guys what this bo um, booth looks like when it's finished and how it's gonna operate. So we'll see you in a second. <music> All right guys, and there you have it. We just got the entire booth wrapped. That was kind of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie, but it is done. We got everything pulled down, it's tight. There's no issues. I left the corner open because I still need to get access to my toolbox. I'll fold that in before we actually paint. 
I put a couple of these zipper doors in so that I can access my toolbox behind it because this is so tight already inside this garage. Um, I've got another one over here. I'm gonna do one more zipper back here just so I can access the back and get all my plugs. I was a little short on extension cord, so I have to pick a few more of those up so that I can get everything completely wired and all the lights turn on. But I just wanted to show you guys the fan setup. Powerful. I don't think we're gonna have any issue with downdraft and overspray. I think it's gonna keep everything out of the way and it's gonna help me get a really nice paint job. I did say in the beginning of this video I was gonna give you a cost breakdown on this thing. I had to make a couple trips to the store, so I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I will put that down in the description if anybody is interested on what this whole thing costs. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the garage here. What I'm gonna do, I know it's gonna be a little dark because the sun's so bright, but I am gonna put a just a roll-up tarp door here. If you weren't gonna be pulling a vehicle into this, you would've just normally framed that as just a normal wall with a, a door or another zipper access. Would've made it a lot easier, but since I am gonna be pulling my Jeep inside here, I am going to, um, just like I said, add a tarp to that so that I can just roll it up and roll it down and tape the sides down or Velcro or something so that it keeps it uh, kind of airtight. But that's probably gonna do it for this video, guys. In the next video, we are going to finally be painting the Supra over there. I got the body kit or the body work 100% complete. So that thing is ready to be sprayed in. Tires are showing up tomorrow. I have the wheels showing up in about a week. so. This thing's gonna come together really quick now. It did take a couple days to build. I had to get everything dialed in and make sure everything was gonna work properly, but I definitely think it was worth it. In the end, it's gonna give me such a better paint job. No paint job's ever perfect, unless you do have a professional booth, but I've seen a ton of videos of people painting in paint booths and they still get trash in all their paint. So I'm expecting a little bit. This was just really to help with that and give me the best possible outcome that I could get in a home garage. So we're gonna see how it works. I'm only painting a couple of parts. It's just the body kit. I'm not gonna be painting anything on the actual body of the car. I am gonna be painting my Jeep like I mentioned before. So that whole body's gonna get sprayed, but I'm gonna do that in pieces because that, that paint shop doesn't have to be as perfect. It's just an off-road vehicle. But make sure you stay tuned for the next video, guys. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I've never painted a car before. I, I painted a couple pieces here and there they turned out pretty good, but I've never actually painted a car. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Um, I'm kind of excited to see it. I've always wanted to do that. So this is the time it's finally gonna happen. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It really helps the exposure on these videos. But until next time, guys, I will see you around.